Welcome back to the Let's Play Minecraft Survival 1.20 series. In the last episode, we made ourselves this cozy little cherry home behind me. However, there is still a lot to be done. We have to put some walls in. I don't know if you can sneakily see, but the walls are kind of non-existent. And I also have the interior to do. I'm very excited to do that. Even though it's a pretty small house and small houses tend to be a bit more difficult to decorate in my opinion, I think we can make something pretty out of it. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I want to get a lot of birch wood to put some walls in and I'm just gonna make some basic walls at first and then along the way, as the interior gets shaped, we will figure that part out, but let's get some birch wood first. I almost forgot, but I actually planted some birch trees here, so that is really nice, so I can pick those up. I'm pretty sure I need a lot more than just three trees. Oh, it's four. Hey, well, we'll take everything. So we'll have to replant them, but we can definitely get started with this. And I'm gonna make sure I replant them right away, as I'm pretty sure we're gonna need some more of those. So hopefully these will grow while we're working on the house and we can get ourselves some more birch logs. I'm gonna start off real simple. I wanna continue the stripped birch trend. I think that works really well. So we're just gonna continue by putting in some more stripped birch. And I'm gonna do the back part first. I think I slightly underestimated how many birch I actually need. So that was my ax. That was not very nice. Um. So yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get some more birch wood, but I think that will be fine. Did I have some iron still too? That's just not enough. I might have to take a little trip into the mine to grab some more so I can make a new axe. I could also make one out of stone. Yeah, let's do that for now. I, I'm just, yeah, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Just so we can strip the whole thing. And in the meantime, while we wait for the birch trees to grow, I have a little side project because I have some things that require honeycomb that I want to put in the interior. Um, but that means that we kind of need to make these beehives hanging around here a little bit more foolproof because the bees will get mad if I touch anything. So let's get ourselves some campfires. I'm pretty sure what we need for campfires is sticks, logs, and coal. And I do seem to have coal. I do have some sticks. I kind of don't want to use the cherry logs, so I might have to go out to get some other wood. I'm currently on the hunt for wood, and I already have some, but I just remembered that there is a village right behind here, and I'm definitely going to go back there to see if they have some workstations for me, because I always love integrating some random workstations into my interior, and we'll just see if they have something, and we'll take it with us. I just noticed this sheep running around and I'm just gonna take a little bit of his coat here because we do need some carpets and my inventory is very full. I should probably fix that at one point, but for now, let me see what we can drop. There we go, thank you. He only gave one though. He must not like me very much, it's okay. Oh, there's another, perfect, thank you. Oh, there's a lot of them out of here. Love that, we can just stock up on our wool supply real quick. We definitely also need some of those, so that's great. All right, we're in the village. Let's see if there's anything we can take. Definitely taking a cauldron. Thank you very much. Do I take multiple cauldrons? That would be a bit excessive, wouldn't it? Let's see if they have anything else. I believe there wasn't a lot here, but I can definitely use that bed because you better believe we're gonna have a double bed. I'll drop the cherry door. I don't think I need that anymore. <gasps> a grindstone? Not bad, not bad. Hmm. Hmm. Do I take the grindstone? Yeah. Eh. We're taking it. Thank you very much, kind sir. I appreciate it. So remind me next time when we go on a little hunt. Ooh. That I clear my inventory first because this is quite messy. I'm not gonna lie to you. But it's okay. We'll get there. And we'll take with us what is important. It's also really good to keep in mind that we have spruce over here. I really love working with spruce and sometimes it can, can be very annoying to find. We have it right here, so that's definitely good to know. I'm afraid that is it with useful items in this village. Honestly, there's not a lot. It's just a very weird village overall. But at least we got a couple things, so definitely better than nothing. Let's go back. I'm starting to have a little food problem, but I do see some cows over there. And you know what would be nice? 
Not only do they give us food, but also leather, which will be very convenient. And I thought I heard something, that's why I turned around, but I'm not sure if I actually did. But let's go get those cows. Oh, hello. Uh, that's... I'm not prepared for that, sir. You're very overpowered and I'm very weak. Let's not do that, okay? Hey! I'm so sorry, my friend. I'm so sorry. I'm not sure who gave the suggestion. I'm so sorry for that, but someone suggested that I build bridges over like the giant ravine kind of thingies. Um, and I think that's an amazing idea. So I definitely think that we're gonna do that later on in the series because having to go up and down this is not great. Yeah, we can use the water, we can jump in the water, but it's still not the best experience. So I definitely think that's a great idea. Home sweet home. First, let me clear that inventory a little bit because honestly, this is driving me nuts. So let's get all of this in here. I do need those right now. The leather, I also stocked up on some leather. I stocked up on some beef, which I desperately need because I ran out of food. And I also stacked up on some wool. So honestly, we, we got the goods, we got the stuffs. And I got some, some extra iron. So we have multiple things to smelt. I do have to keep in mind that I need some coal for the campfires. So I'm just gonna save a little bit of that. And then I think I fit some stuff in here as well. We got the thingies that we can use in the house. All right, let's see. Campfires, all right. Okay, I need more sticks. I'm pretty sure I had, I can use the cherry planks. Let's use the birch planks for some of those, perfect. And then I should be able to make multiple campfires. I don't know how many I need, let's just make four to start with. We have one beehive over here, another one over here. Do we have some more around? Let, let me take a little peek. Hmm, I'm not too sure. I really thought there were more around, but... Uh, oh, there's another one over there. Okay, okay. They, we definitely have enough. So now that we have those, let's add some carpets to the mix and then... I lost my shovel along the way somewhere. Uh, we will make a new one in a sec after we've smelted the beef because I'm definitely more in need of beef right now. Let's get the campfires underneath. There we go. This way they won't get mad at me when I steal their precious honeycomb. Nice. Definitely need that. Do you see the recipes we've just unlocked? You see the candles? That is one of the things we need. And there we go. And because there are so many beehives around, I think it will be quite easy to get enough of it. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Let's get this one ready to go as well. Nice. Perfect. All right. I still have one more campfire that I could use. And I'm going to do it right over there. This way, we should have the honey we need in no time. Boom. Thank you very much. When it gets dark in the cherry grove, when the sun sets, it just becomes extra pretty. It's also very pretty in daylight, but like, oh, it's kind of magical, is it not? Look at that. Look at that. It's so peaceful. It's very nice. All right. Let me sleep and let's continue that house. <laughs> let me first place all the dirt locks that I just picked up. Hopefully we'll have enough. Um, We might not. Like I said earlier, we're just going to place in some blank walls. <laughs> There's not going to be much to it, but um, once the interior gets shaped, I will know where to put things like windows and stuff like that. But first, we just fill it up so that we can get started and then we know how much room we actually have on the inside of the house. All right. Let's get that stripped. Ouch! Not again. Let's see. That's all ready, which is amazing because then I can finally eat a little bit. And we can use that furnace to smelt the iron and then we can make ourselves a new axe. In the next episode, we're definitely gonna mine a little bit because I keep running out of iron. I still don't have any diamonds, which um, is kind of kind of weird because I normally do that before I even start on my starter house. But I figured since it's called, oh, look at that. Since it's called a starter house, I have to get that on first. And I'm pretty proud of myself for doing that. Because if you've watched my previous series, I'm usually not like that. But it's very nice to have a house. <laughs> I wish I had one IRL. I'm almost out of locks, but no, we're not going to be able to make it. I thought we would just be able to make it, but we're just not going to be able to make it. Honestly, that was really close. Look at that. Oh, well, we should be able to get some of the birch trees we planted soon, I hope. Let's hope the birch trees grow quickly. Oh. Oops, sorry about that. 
And in the meantime, we just continue our little house. No floor yet. I think I want to go for a bit of an intense flooring and use the cherry logs unstripped. I know that it's going to be a lot, but I kind of think with all of the light birch, adding the darker cherry log in there, I think it's going to I think it's going to be something that we can make work, you know what I'm saying? Let's get started on that before we put any of the furniture in. I forgot that I almost ran out of cherry wood, so I kind of have to get some more before we can really uh, do the floor. But my idea is just a very simple floor, just a little zigzaggy pattern, nothing fancy. However, I definitely need some more. But I think this dark color with the light birch and the pink, I think it's going to work. Also, I'm not sure this bee is stuck or what he's up to. Nope, he just really likes that pillar. Now he's coming out. All right, I'm just gonna go somewhere where we can see and take some cherry locks there. I don't wanna ruin my view now, would I? The amount of beehives in this biome is kind of wild. Love it, there are so many. I also love how many different shapes the cherry trees have. It's very nice. Ooh, we have the other village over there which I'm gonna check out for some more interior goodies. I know that we're doing a lot of getting things and not necessarily building things, but that's the game. We have to get things before we can build with it. And I'm totally fine with that. Let's see what we can get over here. Oh, this house is in trouble. I'm just gonna, yep. Hmm, grindstone, not a very cozy interior item. I think I'm gonna leave it. I assume there's a broom standing in here. Yes, and I'm definitely gonna take that. Love broom stands. I kind of wish there would be a library, but I don't think there is one. I don't think we saw one last time we checked this village either, which is kind of a shame, but it's okay. That is perfect. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a lot more in this village. We can take the bell. I don't know, might be able to use it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm afraid that's about it. Let's stay the night over here, though. Oh, it's like a hotel. Waking up in this cozy little home, very nice. Let me see if there is some sugarcane around, because I would love to add some bookshelves. And I see some sugarcane over there, so let's grab it some more over there. That's awesome. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see how many we have in total three for now, but we can definitely get some more. Whoop. Nice. Very nice. Be sure there was some more over there. Okay, I think that's about it. What we can get from here. It's still ten. I see some. I see a little more over there. And that brings us to 14. Okay, we can definitely work with that. We... I'm not sure if we have water close to where we live. Otherwise, we could plant them. But we might not have any water close, honestly, but let's check. Hmm, ooh, just tearing right into the iron eyes. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. But do we have a gnat? Did my birch tree just grow another beehive? Hello? I already had plenty of those, but thank you anyways. I don't think we have a natural water source over here, so we might have to make one just a little two block kind of situation so that we can at least get some more sugar cane. But that is a worry for later because we're working on the house. Let me put those birch logs in. Boom, there we go. Now we at least have the walls, the roof, as you can see, still needs some work, but we'll get there. And I'm gonna finish this floor. Of course, I had to go for some more cherry logs, but the floor is in and I think it looks quite good. Yeah, it's a lot, but keep in mind that there's gonna be stuff standing on this. So I think it kind of works. Let's uh, frame the door a little bit, give it a little bit extra. Two fences, just two. We need to make some more of those. I just put my crafting table here for now. We gotta find a more permanent spot for it, but for now it is a-okay. Give me some of those. I'm not sure that's enough. Oh, that is probably enough. Nice, just a little framing. I think it makes it look just a tiny bit better. 
Next up, I'm gonna start with a little kitchen because I always love my houses to have a little kitchen. And I think I'm gonna put it in the corner right here so that we can add some windows in over there. And I think it's gonna look quite pretty. And what I wanna use for those, and that's also why we needed the honeycomb and we should probably check if we can grab some more. But I want to use some beehives for that because they actually make really nice cabinets. So let's see if we can gather some more of that sweet honey. Here we go. Would be awesome if I could pick it up, huh? Does anyone know why honeycomb always flies out like this? Like sometimes you have to literally run after your honeycomb to get it. I don't know what that's about. Look at that. It just goes across the entire planet. Now that I have that honeycomb, let's just make a couple cabinets. There we go. I feel like a skeleton is dying near me, but I am not sure where. I hear him though, but that's about it. Let's see, let's put a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Then we can get a little bit of a window situation going over here. I think that would be really nice. Give me those logs back though, it's very valuable. And well, we can just put the uh, crafting table in the corner here. Then we have a spot for that right away. Boom, look at that. There are monsters nearby. Yeah, I can hear that. But where are you? Are they underneath? Don't tell me there is a huge cave underneath my house. I kind of need the basement. Not be very nice if there was a, a cave underneath. Oh, there kind of is. There he is. Hello, sir. Do you mind if I light this up real quick? Just for some protection? Oh, hmm. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. The mobs are coming out there. There's some iron here. But the mobs are coming out and I should sleep. Let's grab that real quick before I forget that it's here and we definitely need some more iron. Nice. Let me just uh, sleep here real quick. Just a quick little snooze. All right, let's make my way back into my home. Why do I still hear zombies? Ah, oh, man, the dude is over here and he's stuck too. That is rough. Oh, he's not really stuck. He just fell into the cave. That's good. Then I probably at least won't hear him anymore. Let's just uh, take the normal route instead of going back into my house from the bottom up. All right, that's good to keep in mind when I'm making my basement though, because I'm definitely making one as I will need way more storage than I can put in the actual house itself. So basement is required. And um, yeah, we'll figure out that cave later. Let's continue the kitchen first. Get some last panes in here. We do them just like this. I kind of want to turn these birch logs into some birch wood. So I think that will look nicer against the glass panes. Uh, give me some stripped birch wood. Yeah, I think that's gonna be much better. Do you need a little bit more of that? Because so you lose a little bit of wood, unfortunately, but we should have plenty. There we go. Oh, that's oak. Oops, 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 oops. No, no, that's not what I want to do. Birch, okay, there we go. Figured it out eventually. Yeah, I think that's definitely the better option. Blends in nicer as well, and it's just less weird. Next up, I'm gonna need some barrels to put on top of the kitchen because our kitchen definitely needs a place to store the food, obviously. So let's use that oak because we won't be using oak in this build, at least not a lot of it. Let's just get all of those turned into planks and get some slabs with it. And then we should be able to make ourselves some barrels. There we go. Um, I think I, I have enough. Look at that! Oh, you know what I forgot? We need we need the sink! The sink that we just picked up. Where did I put it? I put it in here. Definitely need the sink. Look at that! Then I'm gonna need one more barrel, though. Give me one more barrel, please. Thank you very much. Beautiful! And then we definitely need a tap to put on the sink. The kitchen doesn't have a furnace. I'm not sure if I want to add that or if it's gonna make the kitchen too big. Hmm. I'll just keep it here for now and then we'll figure it out later. I need, oh, I had some iron actually. That's okay. Well, let me see if I do this and this and this. There we go, that's what I need. Beautiful, it's tab, love that. I do wanna add a little bit of detail to our sink. Get a little birch sign. There we go, it just adds a little bit more. Do we do it on the side as well? Nah, 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 nah. 
just there. Good, we might, I don't know what I want to do with the furnace. It is very nice to have a furnace, obviously, but I don't think it really fits with the kitchen that we're going with. I think this is going to be pretty cute though. Kitchen does need some detailing, but we will do that later. First, I just want to put in the basic things in the house. And my idea was, which I think would be very cute. However, we do need to get rid of that tree. Maybe all of it, maybe part of it. I, I have a feeling that it's going to be all of it, though. I really wanted to make kind of a loft situation. That's why the kitchen is also so... Um, so low down because I want to put a loft on top of here and have my bedroom be on top here and I think that would be amazing but I kind of forgot about the tree hey what is that creeper doing here no okay I'm gonna drive him away first because I always mess up with creepers and then they blow up my house and see yeah that's that's no that's not good that's Ruining my vibes a little bit. Not gonna lie. Should have walked back further. Should have just killed him, you know? It is fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be all good, don't you worry. For the loft, I'm gonna be using some birch planks. I already have a couple here. I might even have some more somewhere. Why not? Ah, I could have sworn I had some birch planks. Did I just use some? I have no clue. I guess this is it. We do have a couple of birch slabs though. I will turn uh, these bad boys into planks as well. And yeah, I'll use the logs as well. It's okay. It's fine. And let me just uh, see how this is going to work out. So I think I'm going to start it right here. I haven't really thought out how big I want the loft to be. Um, it's definitely going to be a bit claustrophobic because I don't have a lot of space in this house, but I think I can live with that. Let me see. So the edge of the house is here, the pink ones. So this tree definitely is too much in my way for this. So I'm gonna have to at least get rid of some, maybe everything. Let me just see what we'll be able to deal with. We can always add on some leaves because as you're noticing, the um, shears take away a lot of the leaves. We can always just add some back on. I guess it will be going up towards here. Because the pillars are right over here, so this is kind of where the edge is. I'm just very confused by what I did here. But I guess we're just gonna roll with it. So I do have to, I do really have to add on the roof now because it's looking very weird. So I'm gonna do that first and then we'll continue. All right, I did a little bit of roof fixing and I think I don't really have a lot of cherry logs left but i definitely have to make a little sideways thingy going on here just to add a little bit of depth a little bit of uh, support for the house because it's a minecraft house it definitely needs support you know what i'm saying but we'll add that later when i have some more cherry logs all right this is gonna be our cozy little window i should have checked if i still had some cherry trap doors probably not we probably have to make them i did find some cherry logs just now so i can either use them for the trap doors or for the support pillar and i think i'm going with the trap doors on that one. Oh, i still have some cherry planks that i can use for that look at those oh i don't even i don't even need that many there we go let me get those in so the way to get up to the loft would be with a ladder. So since I'm constantly building up here to build the loft, I might as well make the ladder now. And then I can use those while building as well, which would be way more convenient. Also, let me pick this up. This is gonna go in the loft. That makes a six. Can we get up with six? Um, I think I'm gonna put it here. Then we can add some decoration here and here, maybe even here. Oh, six is definitely enough. It's not a big house. Boom! That's our way to get into the loft. That's perfect. Let me place the bed so we can get a little bit more of a of an idea of how this is gonna look. Yes, yes, yes. I'm I'm seeing something. I'm seeing something happening. Put some trapdoors in here. I think this is gonna be adorable actually, and I can't wait for it to be done. I'm wondering, do I have some birch slabs? I do not. I will have to get those. <gasps> I have exactly two carpet in my inventory. What are the chances? Perfect, absolutely perfect. I think this is gonna be so adorable. I can't wait for this. I need some more stuff. So let me hop back down and get some birch slabs. I'm also gonna need some fences because I wanna fence off the loft so you don't fall out of it because we don't want any accidents happening around here. 
I have some more birch slabs. Ooh! I had some birch slabs! I can take those. Birch fences. How many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey! That's perfect! Absolutely perfect. So I kind of want to have this be a little bit of a lower thing to kind of have the impression that the fences are... Oh, I have to close that up. That the fences are kind of like hanging. Not really hanging, but like floating fences, you know what I mean? Nice! All right. Getting somewhere, getting somewhere. That is like the base done for a loft. And we have to add the details, but first I want to just copy this on the other side. Not the loft, but the side so that our house is actually closed because it's still not really a house. Oh, the house is almost closed, but I have to add those cherry sort of pillars. How do you call that when it's not a pillar, but it's like sideways? Don't ask me. I don't know. Okay, so I think I put them in the wrong spot over here. I think I want to do it one higher. Doesn't mean that I have to fix this stuff, but that seems about right. We definitely have to do a lot of things here still. Don't, don't think this is the finished product. It really isn't. Let's have our first sleep in this little loft. That was the best sleep ever. You have like excellent view of the outside here. Um, and then we, we go down and then we have uh, still an excellent view of the outside. So that's that's beautiful. That's perfect. Let's get me some more cherry logs. My axe broke once again, but I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm just getting these cherry logs with my bare hands. Yeah, the sheep is also asking like, hey, what are you doing? Why are you punching this tree? Well, sheep, because I need the wood. Yep. And that should do it. And then we can put those in on this side. Boom. So one thing I want to use because it's new is the new chiseled bookshelves. I don't have any books to put in yet. We might have to make some in a little bit. We do have some sugar cane and some leather. But I was actually surprised. Also, ignore the fact that there are pillagers knocking at my door. Oh, do, do, oh no, don't come in. Don't come in. Don't come in. Okay, we're safe. Luckily, we just closed off the house, so we should be fine. Um, Hello. They're, they're a bit loud though. It's fine, we'll just mind our own business. But I was a little bit surprised by how easy the recipe is. I thought you were gonna need a lot of stuff that I wouldn't be able to get early game. But honestly, look at that. That's easy. We can do that. Let's put them in our loft. Okay, they are a little bit loud and annoying, aren't they? Okay, they look a little bit empty now because, I mean, well, there's no books in there. But I think that's gonna be looking cute. One thing that I always need in my interior is pots. I need pots. So I might have to go out and give myself some clay, but I kind of don't want to deal with these pillagers out there. <sighs> Look at him just standing there waiting for me to come out. I'm really not a big fan of this furnace in my kitchen. I am undecided still. All right, now that we've done a little work on the loft, let's do a little bit of extra work on the kitchen. And I am thinking because we have a little gap here, it might be cool. Let me see if we still have some birch stuff. We do not. We do have some in our inventory, so we're gonna have to use that. I think it would be cool if we create like a little difference in in height here. So if we have the kitchen be more like this, so have it like be separated from the rest of the house. Just a little, just a little something. We just fill this up with some planks. And then it's really a separate kitchen area. And I think that's very nice. Let me think of other things that we can add to just, just give a little bit of, of something. Just add a little, a little bit of some depth there. I also need some lanterns because this place is getting a little bit dark. So let's just add a lantern. Hmm, do I add a hanging lantern? I I think that would be nice, actually. Then I want to mm -mm, get some more nuggets, make a little chain. I would just hang there. Ah, it's kind of floating a little bit, but but we all know that it's hanging, right? And one extra thing I want to do now that we actually have that leather is make an item frame. I don't have a lot of sticks right now. And there we go. Let's put it in up here. And I think I want to have some cute foods to put in them, but I don't think I have anything right now. Either some berries or some bread or whatever else I can find. But for now, it's just an empty plate. There will be something on there eventually. 
And let me see what we're gonna do with the rest of the area. I wanna create a little cozy sitting area here. Maybe even a fireplace, but I'm not sure how that will work out in this fully wooden house. It might be a terrible idea, but we'll figure it out. Just gonna make a little square window here. It's gonna look nice. A little bit of variation. We have those windows here. We're gonna have a square one here. So I need some more glass panes. I wonder if I have some more glass. I do, that's perfect. That's definitely not what I wanted to do, my bad. Absolutely stunning. And then on the outside, we can add some of those cherry trap doors again and make it look real good. I think for a little bit of extra variation, I wanna add some more chiseled bookshelves here and there. So let me see how many I can make. Not a lot, I'm afraid. That's one, can I make just, there we go, we'll use those, that's fine. Use those and sorry, I'm just trying to make <laughs> maximum use of my woods here. Just for a little bit of extra, extra detail. And I think what would be nice is to add a little bit of cherry on top of here. I haven't heard the pillagers in a while, so I'm just gonna test my luck and run out here to, ooh, give me that. I need my woods to go grab myself some clay. Oh, hello. Hi, don't mind me. Sorry, I know I just completely, fully jumped into you. I didn't mean to do that. My bad. My apologies. Yep, sorry about that. While I'm out here, I'm also gonna get myself some extra food because, of course, we're running low again. And we definitely have to either make a farm or figure out something else so that we can have a more consistent food source. But for now, all the focus is on the house and making it the best cozy little starter house ever let's see if we can find some clay around here ah i see some over here perfect let's just pick everything from this patch because i like pots i like flower pots so let's see how many we have here and how many we can make with that okay that is a lot of flower pots so <laughs> let's give it back and get those smelted I still don't have a place for my furnace, so you're going here for now, buddy. I'm really sorry about that. Let's melt that clay. This is actually a lot of clay. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna be adding a brick fireplace to this house, which might look terrible, but it might also just give that little break up in color and texture that we need because we definitely need something to make this place pop. So I think, I think we're gonna try that. While that is smelting, I'm just gonna dig out a little area for the fireplace to go. The only thing is, it seems a little bit dangerous considering this entire thing is wood, but I think we should be fine, right? The only problem is that it's gonna look really weird at the back of the house, but who looks at the back of a house, right? Why would we look at that? I don't know, no one does, it's fine. Mm, I'm a little bit scared that my entire house is gonna burn down when I make this campfire. Um, but I guess that's a risk I have to take. <laughs> Yay, um, I don't feel too good about this. I'm not gonna lie to you. I like my idea, but hmm, execution-wise, this might be terrible. If we're gonna place the campfire is here we gotta start with the back side over here we definitely need a lot more but lucky me i have a lot and while that is smelting because we like some multitasking i'm gonna be making some books so that we can fill up some of those chiseled bookshelves however i do need some of that leather didn't i have way more leather what did i use all of that for i know that i made one item frame but I have no clue what happened, honestly. Let's just make three books for now. I definitely want to be able to... Ooh. But I also want some normal bookshelves. Ah! I'm gonna need way more leather. There's so much I want to do with leather. I am definitely struggling a little bit with my resources for this tiny house. Um, I Let me make some extra stuff. So let me put some books in those chiseled bookshelves. Ah! <gasps> Yes. Ah, oh, that was already all of them. Oh, man. Oh, man. I want to be placing a little flower up there. So let me just make a pot real quick. Those big pots are intense. Have you all seen them? I'm not going to make it now because I'm limited on my resources, but they are huge. 
I'm not even sure if you can put anything in them. Does anyone know? If you do, let me know in the comments. I'm curious. All right. Little, little cutesy something. I definitely need some light in here as well. So let me make some more ingots and get a cute little lantern going. All right. I think I just want to add a little, a little lantern right here. That lights up the place very nicely. And you know what I mean? All right. And now I have a little TV. I think it's cute. I like it. I do want to add some candles, but we don't have them yet. So for now, the loft is kind of done. And I think it's perfect. So let's get back onto that fireplace because we have a ton of work to do. We're getting some rain, which is terrible timing because I'm currently working on the construction here. But it's okay. It's okay. Don't you worry. We'll, we'll figure it out. So I think we have to place some more. Oops. More here. This isn't looking like anything yet, okay? But it will. It will. I actually thought I had way more, but I forgot how expensive bricks are. Um, but it will be fine. I, I, I'm a little bit scared to put the fireplaces in. Hello? Let me sleep real quick. Dang, a little bit of thunder, huh? I'm a little bit scared to do so. Um, but it's gonna be okay, right? Please tell me it's gonna be okay and I'm not gonna burn my brand new house down. That would be really awkward. Like, really awkward. Can you imagine how awkward? Mm-hmm. Yep. I think I'm gonna fence it off with some glass panes because I don't really have anything else to fence it off with. I have plenty of glass panes, so that is a-okay. We're just going brick by brick here. So my plan is to put some stairs, upside down stairs in here and some of the brick walls here to kind of create a little bit of an illusion that it's not just a flat, blocky fireplace, but there is actually something to it. Um, so let's hope that works out. In the meantime, I'm going to work on getting myself some paintings. I think it would be cool to have some paintings hanging around the place. Honestly, paintings, they always just add a little little something to the room, you know? If you don't know what to do with your walls or anything, get, get some paintings going. I think this place definitely could use a painting. I kind of want to have one that is like two blocks, so let's put it down here. I'm not sure if I like this painting very much, but I don't think the... Oops, sorry about that. The vertical twos have a lot of options. I think these are the only two options there are. So then if we look at this one, I definitely think this one is the better option. And we'll probably get a little one going here because I have some plans in the corner here. Well, let's do this. I don't really need a specific one. As long as it's not too dark. Like I don't want any skulls or fire or whatever going on in my house. In the meantime, I'm going to work on some cherry fences. I have a ton of logs, so I unfortunately have to use those. I really want to use all of them, but we're definitely going to have to use some of them. Did I have... I have two fences still. What if I fill up the rest with the gates? I think that could work. I think I need a little bit more than this. Look, if I just add a little... Just adding a little bit of something here. That is actually nice. I am not sure if I want to fill up this top part here. I probably will. I'm just thinking about it. I could also put some... Because this area is has a loft, right? So we don't really have to do anything there. But this part we still have to figure out. I could also add some upside down stairs to kind of make it blend in better. But, but with keeping the depth. Um, so let's see what we can do there. Like if we do it like that, we do keep some of the depth from the logs, but there is a little bit more connection because it's just just a little bit of a black hole now, if you get what I'm saying. I would change these logs to some birch wood, but I don't think it's necessary. I think we won't even see it. Yeah, I think that's way better. I think now it's not so random anymore. I'm not sure. Do I want to do it over here as well? I think it would blend in better, but I also really like that the pink is coming through. We might have to, honestly, to blend it in a little bit better. Oh, I kind of miss the pink. I'm going to leave it open for now and think about it a little bit more. Because we could also just leave it open the way it is. Trying to get the planks, but it looks like I'm not getting them. And I'm just going to make a couple stairs. I actually need less than this, so that makes it quite painful. Considering we don't have a lot of bricks to go around. And now we need some walls. I have to check how expensive they are. And they are surprisingly expensive. 
I don't think we're gonna be able to make it with the amount of clay that we have right now, which is kind of sad because that means that I have to go back for just that. But it's fine. We'll probably want some more flower pots around anyway. So let me get rid of some stuff first because this inventory is full. We're definitely gonna organize all of this, but not right now as we're kind of in the middle of something, but we will. So don't you worry about that. I'm gonna get some clay and if I happen to come across some cows, I will uh, have to take them out as well. Okay, no cows, but I do see another source of leather. I just need you all to not get mad at me, okay? Just look away from the screen. Maybe take out your earbuds so you don't have to hear the noise, maybe? I'm so sorry. I just need the leather and, you know, I mean, yep, 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 yep. It just has to be done. It just has to be done. It's for, for, the, for the greater good. It's for the house. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, that did give us some leather though, so I mean, kind of nice. And I am back. We can smelt some more clay, get some more things going. Also got some extra beef, got some extra coal. We make some more paper for those books. I definitely want to add some bookshelves. So that is going to be pretty expensive, but I think it definitely adds something. I know that we have the chiseled ones as well, but I definitely want to have some of the normal ones in here because they just add a lot of color and I think it looks cool. I think I want to add them somewhere here. Let me think, let me think. Uh, kind of maybe like this, that so you can see them through the window. However, I do need to place a block here that I've yet to figure out, but that's gonna be fine. I remember that I picked up a brewing stand, which I think works perfectly there. Mm. I'll figure out what we put there. We can always hide the furnace there. How about that? Put a trapdoor on it. <sighs> However, if we use mm, a trapdoor, you will see through it. If we use a cherry trapdoor, you will see through it. We'll have to figure that out. Let's continue our fireplace mission. I'm sorry that this is so all over the place. Um, I don't really have structure. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I don't really have a plan. So I'm really sorry if that's annoying. This is just how I play Minecraft and yep, I enjoy it. Okay, I'm gonna put... Okay, I kind of hate that it connects here, but that's okay. I am just really scared to put the fireplaces in because this underneath is wood. So I might have to either brick that all. Maybe fireplaces don't even burn anything. Do fireplaces burn anything? I don't know. But I think it might look better on brick anyways, right? Because it looks kind of weird right now with the normal floor underneath. Why would you have your normal floor in your fireplace? That makes no sense. I'm just gonna use those as well. Perfect. We didn't make them for nothing. And then I have some logs here that I'm gonna use. Let me turn this into some sticks. And then I think we should be able to make some fireplaces. Yep, there we go. Um, Yeah, I'm not too excited about putting these in. If my entire house burns down, I think I'm gonna cry and I will probably stop this let's play. So let's uh, keep our fingers crossed together, okay? Oh, I already had enough. I'm so sorry. I keep making more, but I already had the two that I needed. It makes more sense. I'm not sure if it looks better, but I mean, it makes more sense at least. Okay. It's cozy though. Yeah. Yeah. It's cozy. I don't mind it. I just hope it's gonna not set stuff on fire. I just have to place something in front of here so that you can't really see that this is kind of scuffed. Maybe an armor stand. I love putting armor stands into my interiors. It always just adds a little, a little extra, you know what I'm saying? Kind of want to put, that was my idea when I made the fireplace, to kind of have a little something on top of the fireplace. Let's put a sapling in there. It's kind of like a picture frame with a sapling. Maybe eventually we'll replace it with a glow frame. And we definitely need to be adding some more details. We need a little couch, obviously. We need a little couch. Let me see if I still have... Ooh, I do still have some of those that we can use for a little couch. Let's see. We, we want to walk here. We want to put some carpets in front of the couch for max comfiness. So I think this is the perfect spot for the couch. It aligns with the fireplace and that works great for me. I do want to add some... Uh, signs to the side of the couch to make it like a cute sofa. 
a proper sofa. Much cozier. And we need some carpets to put in front to have our feet comfortable. Right in front of the fireplace. All right, it's starting to get shape. I think it's becoming cute. I do need to put in some, hmm, what's the word? I can think of the word. Oh, I just thought of the word, shelves. That's what I wanna put in, some shelves. Some shelves with some fun stuff on it. However, we still don't have candles. I still don't have string. So we might have to wait until it's night so we can kill some spiders or I'm not sure what else we're gonna do if I'm being completely honest. And I think this area is a little bit, hmm. So let's just add a shelf here and make ourselves an extra flower pod. Just make a couple just to put it on here with a little cutesy flower in it. Mm -hmm. Let's go for a white one. What? What? Come on, you can do it. There we go. It's nice. It's cute. Looking uh, good. Looking good. Oh, we were going to hide the furnace, were we not? I already forgot about that. And then I'm going to put the furnace here which looks bad, which I imagined. I think an oak trapdoor would work best because it's with the um, bookshelves. You aren't gonna tell me that I used up all my oak. I used up all my oak. Hmm, that's slightly awkward, so we might have to add that later. Not a big concern right now. Over here. Nice, we can put some candles on there. I kind of would love to have a le uh, lectern here. I had to think about what the word was, but I don't really have the stuff for it. Give me a lantern. Do, 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 do. Just some extra light. Nice, I like that. I also have to put in a ladder somewhere to make a chest room in the basement, but since we don't have time to make the chest room today anyways, I'll leave that up for next time. I'm a little bit stubborn and I'm going on one last resource run because I really want to get some more paper so I can add some more books here and there to get a lectern going. I would absolutely love that. And is there anything else that I need to go on a resource run for? If it turns night, I'm definitely going to keep it night to get some string because I don't think this place is complete without some candles. So I definitely want that so i feel like i still have to do something over here but i'm not sure what yet so maybe we'll find something on our little resource run that we can use oh and i need some oak if i can find that anywhere let me also place those lilacs out front just a little bit here and there just a little bit a little bit extra dressing the place up a little bit oh don't look at the walls don't look at the walls we'll make it better oh don't look don't look this is looking terrible no we're gonna ignore that i will i will fix it but we've already done so much today and i don't have a limited time even though i wish that i did okay resource run that's what i'm gonna be doing let's hope that i don't die by the way um i am excited that it's night but it does make it a little bit scary I just need some spiders and some sugar cane. That's all I need. And I see neither of those. I see a lot of mobs though, but we can dodge him, right? We can dodge and we'll be fine. Oh, spider, spider, but it's like near a lot of skeletons. Way too many skeletons. Oh, there's a lot of spiders here. What happened? Oh man, it's like a spider mom. I just had some babies. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. I can do this, I can do this. They're with a lot, but I'm stronger. I'm stronger. Stupid grass. Stupid grass constantly in my way. No. Almost. <sighs> okay. Ooh. That was nice. We have six string. That's actually really good. And I see some cows over here too, so um, don't mind if I do. Ooh, an enderman. That's deadly. That's very deadly. Do not want to deal with that. Come on, game. Just give me a little bit of sugarcane here. There's so much water. Where's the sugarcane? No sugarcane. A lot of mobs. No sugarcane. A lot of mobs. I did see that spider, but there's too many mobs here for me to deal with that. So I'm just peacefully passing by. <gasps> yes! There's the goods. There's the goods that we need. Thank you. Ooh. 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 That's the goods. I would love to come across some more spiders on my way home, but I definitely want to get home. So if we don't, we don't, but if we do, we do. Nice, very nice. Okay, this loot should definitely be able to get us some candles and that lectern. So I'm very happy. 
Because that's definitely what I wanted. Okay, that spider can continue to live his best life because that skeleton is already after me. So, bye! Bye! Oh no. We're almost ready to jump into the loft. I can't wait to make a staircase going down here, by the way. Mmm, that's gonna be good. It's gonna be very satisfying and exciting. Honey, I'm home! Now we should have most things to put in some finishing touches. Which one is gonna be putting a trapdoor on that ugly furnace? At least I'm glad that we found a little place for it now. Alright, kind of weird with the trapdoor here, but it works. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's fine. I also want to make the lectern, which means that I'm gonna need some more paper and I'm gonna make three books. I'm gonna make a bookshelf. I would if I had the wood, which, oh, I did have enough. I just had enough. Now I need some more wood again, so that's, that's whatevs, you know, just whatevs. Perfect a little lectern. <gasps> oh, you know what we need as well now? Oh no. Yep, a feather? You want a feather and an ink sack for that? No! Why do you want me to do another resource run? No, I don't want to do another resource run, but I definitely want to add... Add... Want to add wooden quill? It's fine, you know, this can make us some pink dye. Which we're gonna use for the candles that we're gonna place all around. Which I also need filling and steel for. I'm not doing so well today, y'all. I'm sorry. It's all taking forever. 17 candles? I'm not gonna use all of them because I feel like I will regret it. And I will need some more. So let's do nine. We can do three of three. Ah, uh, would we want to have more? I'm not sure. Ah, oh, look who's back. Look who's back. Why are they so interested in being here? I'm not entirely sure about that. Poor thing. There we go. Hey, my inventory is full. And then... There we have it, the book and quill. Let's run back home once again. If you're still here, you are an absolute legend, by the way. This episode has been so long. So if you're still here, put the word candle in the comments so we can see who the real diehards are, okay? And let's put that book on here. That's looking beautiful, I love that. I added a couple candles on the shelf here and I actually changed this to a slab because it adds just a little bit more variety and I like it better. So yeah, let's add some in the loft as well. Beautiful. Let's hope they don't uh, burn the place down. That would be very awkward. I kind of want to make a couple more candles to put up here to just have a little bit of filling, maybe an extra flower pot just to fill things up a little bit. Let's just add those here. Maybe a little flower pot in the corner with a pink tulip. Nice, I think that already makes it much more homey and it kind of gets rid of the flat nothingness that used to be there. I think I'm actually gonna change the little ceiling area that I made earlier just a little bit. Just a teeny tiny, tiny little bit. Yeah, I think I actually like that better. There is still a clear distinction between the kitchen area and the rest of the ceiling. But now it also breaks up this a little bit more, which I think is pretty nice. Um, yeah, I kind of vibe with that. Maybe we wanna just adding some finishing touches in here. It's not too exciting, but it has to be done. I think that's quite nice. I'm thinking if I wanna add something more over there, let me just add another little flower pod. You can never have enough flower pots. Uh, just a lantern and we can still add a flower pot, why not? Never too many flower pots. Nice! I think that's kind of adorable. Alright, let's take a better look at this thing. So here's our little loft where we wake up. Here we can stare into our living room. Now that I look at it like that, I will probably turn those into wood. I'm not gonna do that right now, but I think that would be the better option as you do see it from up here. But other than that, really cute. And then we go down. We arrive in our little kitchen. Oops. Leaving the trash. Oh, we still haven't put anything in here. Okay, for now, it's gonna be some honey. Gonna be some honey in there. So here we have our little kitchen, our little lectern area, little sitting corner with our fireplace. Very cozy. I might need some more light in this area, but for now, then we walk out and this is it. Absolutely amazing. I'm pretty happy with that. 
I completely forgot one last thing. Okay, the, the last thing we have to put in is a little armor stand here. You might move it a little bit towards the side as you can move armor stands in pretty weird ways. So we might do that later, but for now, I'm not gonna go through the trouble. I'll just put that on and I do have some iron still so we can fix our own. Ooh, we're gonna give him a cap as well. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, homie doesn't have pants. We'll, we'll get some pants along the way, but I honestly, I really like it. I think it's very cozy, very homey, even though it's a very small room. I think I decorated it in a way that it's not too much, yet it still doesn't feel empty. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. And my favorite thing is definitely the loft. I think, I think the loft is just gorgeous. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with this. There is still a lot to be done on the house, mainly on the outside, but those are just some, some small things that I'll put in along the way. But the next episode is actually gonna be a lot more mining than crafting because we also have to make some progress in the world next to all of these fun decorating shenanigans. But I had a lot of fun and I hope you did too. Um, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching all this way. It's It's been a long time and it's a big chunk out of your day. So thank you very much. If you've been liking the series, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I would love to see you in the, in the next episode. Much love. Bye-bye.